Hi, welcome to another video. So, I have covered Verdant a bit back. Verdant, if you don't know, is an AI coding agent that redefines a lot of things. I also talked about how Verdant is one of the best implementations of the agent kind of panel that Google is trying to achieve with anti-gravity. Verdant, instead of feeling like a vibe coder, feels like a professional multitasking coding agent that is more directed for professional developers who want to maybe run multiple agents doing different tasks on a code base and just keep tabs on them. It does the intricacies of that whole experience quite well. It also currently leads on SWE Bench, which is awesome as well. I had given them some feedback and stuff, and it has changed quite a bit now, and I wanted to cover those new features and also give a quick overview of it for new users. So, Verdant has two ways to use it. There's the VS Code extension, which has all the capabilities of the Verdant agentic contraption, but fine-tuned to be a pair programmer instead, and it doesn't allow you to run multiple tasks at once and stuff like that. But, the main thing, Verdant App. Verdant App is a whole new interface that is basically what Google's anti-gravity tried to be, but this is insanely better. It allows you to give it your tasks, switch between plan and act mode, select the best model for your task, and then you can go ahead to get the task done. You can also make git work trees to make sure that none of the agent's code gets overwritten by the other and causes conflicts. You can also easily merge these work trees back with Verdant itself. So, this is also awesome. They have also fixed a lot of stuff in their experience for this as well. It now also allows for seamless multitasking with context preservation. So, you can like juggle multiple projects the way your mind naturally works. You get the full context preserved across every task. You can switch instantly between code bases, features, and bug fixes. AI keeps everything alive, so you never lose momentum. It also now supports Gemini 3 Pro and Claude 4.5 Opus, and it's all included within the same subscription as well. You can also still make sub-agents for your stuff, and so on. Now, let me show it to you in action, because reading about features is one thing, but seeing the workflow is where it clicks. For this demo, we are going to build a movie tracker app. But I'm not just going to ask it to build an app. I'm going to use the new parallel capabilities to simulate a real Devi team. So, I have the Verdant app open here. I'm going to create a new project folder. Here is where it gets interesting. Usually, if you use an agent, you have to wait for it to finish the back end before you can tell it to do the front end, or it gets confused. With Verdant, I'm going to spin up two separate agents simultaneously. For agent one, I'm typing. Set up a Supabase backend for a movie tracker. Create a movies table with title, release date, rating, and a watched boolean. Give me the SQL setup script. Now, while that guy is working, I'm not waiting. I'm immediately going to the task sidebar and clicking New Agent. For Agent 2, I'm typing Initialize a NextJDays 14 project with Tailwind CSS. Create a basic card component to display movie details, assuming we have title, date, and rating. I hit run on that too. Now, watch what happens. This is kind of awesome. You can see both agents working in parallel in the sidebar. Agent 1 is messing around with SQL files, and Agent 2 is installing NPM packages, and they are not stepping on each other's toes. In literal seconds, Agent 1 is done. It gives me the SQL. I can review it in the diff lens. It looks solid. Now, what we were doing here is making the agent work on the same files that the other agent was actively working on. So, if in the other task, 
the agent starts writing on a file that the other task agent is also working on, then many inconsistencies start to happen because each one of them keeps overwriting the other. To tackle this issue, Verdant uses workspaces. Workspaces are basically just a clone of your repo that is created by Verdant using Git work trees. And if you run an agent in that workspace, and then maybe create another workspace, and run another agent in it, then both of these will not conflict with each other, because it is basically different folders being worked on. But once you think that a feature or anything that you were working on in the workspace is done, then you can easily merge back the files into your main branch or folder and get the best of multiple agents, along with easy rollbacks and a ton of other stuff. So, let's say that I am working on my KingBench app here. I use this a lot in my videos for benchmarking purposes. Now, I want to implement one feature, but in two different styles, and compare which one actually works better. So, I want to add an option in the leaderboard to see the details in a table format, but I also want to experiment with the style of material UI for the table. I'm not sure if I'll like the material UI or not, but I also want to see a non-material UI option and compare between them. So, I'm basically going to make my first workspace. So, just put in a branch name, and Verdant will get it done in a bit. Then, you can go ahead and enter your prompt, and it will get started on it immediately. Now, you can just go ahead and create another workspace here. Then, you can easily name it anything you want, and then just enter your prompt, and you should be good to go. In a bit, they will get done. If I run them through the terminal in Verdant itself, then you can see the differences here. It looks quite good. Though, I think I like this non-material UI one better. So, we can just rebase it back to the main repo with the simple option here. Just go through the steps, and you will be good to go. It's really very good. It is one of the highlights of using Verdant, but let's say I want to add a feature. I'm going to use the plan mode now. I switch the toggle to plan. Verdant doesn't just start coding. It enters a conversation. It acknowledges that and generates a plan. Once I approve the plan, it switches to act mode and executes it. Now, while it's doing that, imagine I get a critical bug report on a completely different project. This is a common problem, right? You are deep in the context of one app, and you have to switch. I can click on my other project tab on the left. The context there is exactly how I left it. I can ask the AI to fix a bug there. I commit it. Then I click back to the Movie Tracker tab. The context is perfectly preserved. The AI remembers we were building a search bar. It doesn't hallucinate or forget the file structure. This seamless multitasking with context preservation is a game changer for productivity. And speaking of speed, I have this running on Gemini 3 Pro. The inference speed is blistering. We are talking about complex refactors happening in moments. Let's look at the verification step. I mentioned the plan code verify loop. This is really prominent in the VS Code extension, but it applies here too. After it builds the search bar, it doesn't just say done. It verifies its own work. It checks if the function is actually exported, if the types match the interface we defined earlier. If it finds an error, it self-corrects before even showing me the result. Because of the plan code verify system, the agents break down tasks, code with intent, and then double-check themselves. It produces transparent reasoning at every step. You can see why it decided to use a specific library or why it structured the database that way. The result is more accurate code, fewer errors, and solutions you can actually trust. Now, let's talk about the VS Code side of things for a second. If you are someone who lives in the editor and doesn't want a separate window, the Verdant extension is solid. It focuses heavily 
on that systematic process I mentioned. When you ask it to refactor a function in VS Code, you see it going through the steps. It plans the refactor. It writes the code. Then it runs a verification step. It feels very grounded. It's not just throwing tokens at the screen. It's engineering a solution. It's less about managing a team and more about having a really smart pair programmer who double checks their work. But honestly, if you have the screen real estate, the standalone app is where the power is. The ability to visualize the work trees, manage parallel tasks, and see the diffs in that dedicated UI is superior. And the fact that you can swap models, jumping between Gemini 3 Pro for speed and Claude 4.5 Opus for complex logic, gives you a lot of control. Pricing-wise, it's still following the structure I mentioned before, but considering you get access to these high-end models and the orchestration features, it's pretty affordable compared to hiring actual developers or paying for multiple different AI subscriptions. So, what is the verdict? Verdant has evolved from just being a good coder to being a workflow powerhouse. The addition of parallel agent execution and isolated workspace solves the biggest bottleneck in AI coding right now, which is waiting. You don't have to wait anymore. You can orchestrate. It streamlines your workflow a lot. If you are building complex apps, or if you are a freelancer juggling three different clients, this tool helps you keep everything moving without your brain exploding from context switching. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.